welcome back to my channel. It's Simply Jessica here today with our Friday Dollar Tree haul. I have to apologize. I did not get on and do a DIY yesterday. I was unfortunately hit with some nasty, thank goodness, only 24 hours stomach bug. My goodness, it literally kicked my entire butt. Um, I was down and out on the couch <laughs> for like over an entire day. So it's gone. I feel so much better. Thank goodness, seriously, because I don't want to feel like that again. Um, <laughs> so I did go to the Dollar Tree today and I just wanted to show you some of the great, and I know I'm like shoving Christmas down your throat, I know, but I'll say it for the hundredth time, you know, if you see it, you got to buy it because it will be gone by the time you go back and look for it again. So I did, I just, you know, I can't help it. It makes me so happy. So I just kind of went crazy. So we're gonna jump in here and see what I found. I did end up getting some more. Now they have these usually every year, but I did get some more of these pretty big Christmas balls here. These nice little plastic ornaments. I like these even for outside to hang. These are such a great size. Like look how big these are. I love this red one. It's got a really cool design in it, right? So red and silver is my thing, you guys know. Has a nice silver little string there to hang it. So I got the red one and of course, I got the silver one to match with that really cool little circle design in there. So I love these. I think these are fantastic. They're nice hard plastic ones. These hold up outside. So I love them. So I did get one red one and one silver one. I wanted to get more, but they didn't have any more in the red and the silver, but <laughs> I got those for now. I also trying to like clean up the mess here. Um, got some other ornaments here. This one I thought was really pretty. So we have this star and it's made out of all these little silver beads here which is really cool. And then it has the fairies here, some greenery that looks like it's snowed on. It's got this really pretty silver bow. And of course, the little pine cone in the middle. It has this beautiful silver ribbon here to hang. But I love this. I think this is super gorgeous. I did not see this last year. So I did pick this one up. It had a star. And we also have just like a circle wreath here. Now I did bend this cause it was kind of like out of shape. So you can bend it a little bit, but beautiful silver wreath here. Again, with all those gorgeous little silver beads, same thing going on here with the greenery that has like the snow effect, the berries, the pine cone, and oh, we might want to cut that off. And <laughs> the really pretty silver bow here we've got going on. So those were gorgeous. I was super excited about those. I also just picked up, I want, these are candles, candle holder. I was gonna say candle sticks. But I did just pick up two of these black, I guess they're more like a tin candle stick holder. So just an ordinary, oh, it looked like there was something in there. That's why I looked. <laughs> it's just the way that it's spray painted. So. Just two ordinary black candlestick holders. I thought these would come in handy for some, you know, really cute Christmas DIY. So, you never know. When I look at them, that's what I think, like something Christmassy. So, I just have to move some of this stuff around here. So, I thought they would come in handy for something beautiful. I did pick up, did I just get one of these? I guess so. So I just got this ornament here. I like it because of the shape. It says season's greetings on it. Ooh, let me turn that a little bit. But I love this. I love the fact that it has like the little metal up here. Looks like an ornament. It has the rope there to hang. I love the picture, but these can be remade if you want to remake it with something else. You can go over this. Um, it does look like it's just papered on there as you can see. So you could actually probably remove that to make it your own, which we can very easily do. So we might do that. I might pick up more of these so we can make maybe some of our own personal little ornaments for the tree. Add our little own 
our own little touches on it. This one I got to match the star one that I got the other day. So here it's just the ball that has the red and the black plaid. It does have the rope here going around it for a little bit more decoration. And of course, you know, like I said the other day, it's like the signature Christmas. So you have the greenery, you have the berries, you have the pine cone. It seems to be on everything. So, but this one matches the star that I got the other day. So, but I really love these. I think these are just very like, not old school. What's the word I'm looking at? Vintage either. Um, traditional maybe? Like your traditional Christmas. So I just thought these were so cute. So we got those. Knocking things over already. I got... Oh, man. Here we go. I picked up. Now I had the other day... Woo, I think it was the gold pine cones. I did pick up some red ones. You can see full of glitter, <laughs> which the love-hate relationship, right? So pretty. Maybe they can stop bouncing here. So pretty, but yes, it does get everywhere. But like I suggested in my last video, you can spray stuff on here. Again, let it be hairspray or some type of coating if you want the glitter to stop falling. But I thought these were darling. There's so many things we can use these for. And again, if you just want to use them for decoration, that is perfectly fine as well because they're so cute. Um, trying to keep going here. Trying to go in order, but it's not that easy sometimes. Yes, you hear some bells. <laughs> oh, these here, these are gorgeous little ornaments. Look at these. So you just have this wreath here. It is covered in this wonderful fluffy white stuff um, fabric, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so stinking cute. And then we have a little bit of a black and white bow there at the top. We have the white bell, the white berries, the white greenery. I just think that this is absolutely gorgeous. I love these and I haven't seen these before. So of course I had to grab them. I got this one here and I also got this one. We're going to take out of the bag. Oh, look at this. So this one is just the opposite. It has the red and the uh, black plaid on there. It has red berries, red bell. But it also has that greenery that's very white compared to this one here. But look how cute these are. Probably should have took the tags off, right? Um, <laughs> but I am in love with these. I think these are fantastic. They're so gorgeous. And I just have to kind of keep buying ornaments because... Why I was sick yesterday, um, the best thing that I could do was go shopping online, um, <laughs> right? Makes you feel better. But they had a pre-lit Christmas tree. It was six and a half feet, pre-lit Christmas tree on walmart.com. So I had to buy it. It's going to be here tomorrow. So I have to keep buying ornaments because now I have three big Christmas trees that I have to fill, plus our little guy back here. So... We just have to keep getting more. What are you going to do, you know? I also, well, we'll skip that. We'll get to that in a minute. I got some of these little, it just says decorative clip on it. So you got the clip here, the little metal clip. And this one here just has like a little bit of that black and white. Where's my words? Plaid. <laughs> Ribbon in there. It has this beautiful silver uh, leaf back here and we have some big berries and a lot of greenery and leaves here and they're all oh, right there it is and there's a nice little silver bell in there so you can either use this you can take this apart and just use the top it is only hot glued on there so that will be very easily taken apart or you can dissect this and use it for its pieces or use it as a whole all together because like I don't even mind like I stick these like on the tree so you can even use that to just kind of fill in on your Christmas trees. So I got that one. And then I got this really cute one here. This one has this gorgeous little pine cone on there. And it has like red glitter around the edges. And it's got a nice little red present here with a gold bow. And then you have the really cute red drum with some gold accents as well. Same thing. 
You can take this apart and use it, use it as a whole or dissect it for its pieces, <laughs> whatever you may need it for. So I got that. I also picked up this pack of ornaments. This kind of matches, I think, some that I got the other day. I'm trying to look, but you'll see what I mean. <laughs> These are a four piece set, two by two. Hmm, nope. 2.2 .2 by 2.5 inches. These are just some gorgeous wooden snowflakes with that black and that white plaid accent there. It has a little bit of the greenery and some berries. I'm surprised there's not a pine cone. Um, <laughs> but you get four in each pack. So I mean, how can you not? Back here, it has some red string here to attach. It looks like it's a pretty long string, so you can add these to your Christmas trees or any type of DIY project that you may have. So everything that I buy, you can, <laughs> I say it a lot, I guess, maybe, but all this stuff you could use on your Christmas tree, DIY projects. However, you could also attach these to gifts. I mean, that would be super cute if you actually want to write on them. You could probably write on these on Sharpie and use them as gift tags. So a lot of different options here. Oh, and I got these. I remember I got the other color, the other colors and I hurt my finger today. That's why I keep looking at it. <laughs> but, um, I picked up the set of three red, the poinsettia, um, little decorative clips here. I got silver and I got, oh my God, isn't it terrible? Like I buy so much and I can't remember. And I keep trying to look to try to remember, but I think I got silver and gold. So I did pick up the red ones that I love. I am obsessed. I have these all over the place. I hang garland around like all of my doorways on the inside of the house during Christmas. And I like to attach these little clips to kind of add a little bit more to it. I also got on this huge ribbon kick again today. I got a lot. So hang with me here. I'm trying to separate by size. All right, so this is one of the bigger ones that I got. This one is the two inches by 108 inches. It's nine feet. It is this gorgeous burlap with the blue snowflakes on it, which is stunning. It is not wired around the edges, just like the other one I got the other day. I'm trying to look real quick. This one here. So we got this burlap looking one with the holly leaves and the berries. So the same with this one. It's a burlap looking background and it has these beautiful blue stars. But again, this one here has, is a uh, wire free. So, and sometimes in all honesty, I feel like that works better. I love the wire ribbon, but sometimes I do believe Chloe's trying to get in. Um, <laughs> I do believe that sometimes the wireless ribbon works better for me. So I also got two of these here. These are five eighths of an inch by nine feet. So this one is a really cool, just white background, basic green Christmas trees all around it. Again, none of these have wire in them either, the smaller ones, but I thought this was super cute. And then of course I just got plain white because sometimes you just need some plain ribbon. Um, <laughs> that's usually my problem too. I'll go to like, I'm very fidgety. Um, I'll go to make something and it's like, oh, I just want like this basic kind of bow, but like all of my ribbon has like all kinds of decorations all over it. So I wanted to make sure that I picked up just some plain ribbon. And now we have a bunch of these smaller ones. So these are the 0.625 by 144 inches. It is 12 feet of ribbon. This one here is red. It has a lot of these really cool gold embellishments on them. We have some candy canes, some peppermints back there. Super cute. Let's try. There we go. Maybe get some of that uh, plastic off. But look how that gold shines like in the light. Isn't that super pretty? 12 feet of this ribbon though. So that's really cool. That one I got just white with the red stripes like candy canes here. Same thing with this one. It is 12 feet, but that one is just basic but beautiful. And then I got this red one here. I'm really liking the red and the gold. So we have this red one, lots of gold snowflakes all around it. The snowflakes are gorgeous. 
And then the last one is this red one here that says Merry Christmas in the gold. Let me try to just peel that back a little bit. There we go. See, look how pretty this is. So that Merry Christmas and those little snowflakes right here. Beautiful gold. You can see it no matter how I'm tilting it, the light really does hit it and makes it shine, which is so pretty. But all of the smaller ones are 12 feet, which is just a lot of little ribbon. So I got that. I picked up this pack. You get three of these each one. So you have the wooden little sign here. It says Merry Christmas in the middle. And I love these. It does just look like, like a wooden ribbon, I guess. There we go. So look how cute this is. So you can paint these any color you want. You can even just use like that brown with the water to like make it look stained. I think these are gorgeous. They come in handy for so many different projects. I love these. So far, Merry Christmas is the only one I found and I know that they've had other ones in the past so I will be keeping my eye out for them. But that's the one I found so far. And then I also got this three piece set Ooh, there we go with the three like galvanized words here so I'm just gonna pop these out because the plastic really shines in that light I say pop it out like it was gonna be easy for me but <laughs> that's just not the way it works oh my heavens all right almost there almost there bear with me oh my goodness this one's just giving me difficult time for such a little word all right so I just bent it trying to get it out but this one says joy as you can see and look at that light hitting that holy crap but little joy it comes with the leaf of course right and it comes with peace so I love these these again are just such a nice little added thing to a lot of different DIYs and the last few things, I got a three pack of the raffia. It comes with green, red, and then your basic, uh, I was gonna say wood color, I guess, right? Like tan, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Who oh, doesn't tell me? I was trying to clean that up here, fix that with how, how much you get in each one, but looks like a good amount in each one here. But I love these colors. The basic one here, red and the green. So very Christmassy and then very farmhouse here. So I love that. And then the last thing that I got, I got four of them. And these are just the round, plain pieces of wood here. So it just says wood hanging decor on it. I love these. I bought one or two of them last year and I did not get a chance to attempt um, a DIY with these because it was just beginning last year so it you know, takes me a while to think of good things <laughs> but I think this year I have some great ideas for these so I know I have one or two put away in last year's stuff but I did end up picking up four of these because I do feel like if I come up with something creative and gorgeous I kind of want to make these and give these to my friends or my family for Christmas, but I love these. I think they're such a great size too, which is fantastic. A lot of room to work with here. And I know people have been doing like the decoupage and all that. So again, I told you we're gonna dab our hands in that very, very soon. So we may be doing that for Christmas. So I did get four of those and we are going to play with them very soon. I have got to get back on the DIY wagon, but you didn't want to see me yesterday, believe me. Um, <laughs> so with that being said, I hope everybody has a fantastic Friday and even better weekend. And remember to uh, thumbs up my video if you like it so we can share my uh, me, I guess, with other people who like shopping at the Dollar Tree or doing very easy and affordable DIYs. And again, I thank each and every one of you for your support each and every week. And I will see you next time. Bye now. Thank you.